Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a background to your web application using Tailwind CSS. I've noticed a trend in web development where there's different patterns in the background, like a grid or dots or a gradient. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do different ones. And there's a great resource that I found and wanted to share with you. So let's get to it. So here I have a project that I've been working on and I want to add a background to my hero section in my landing page. Now to do so, there's a great resource called bg.ibook.com. Highly recommend. It's a collection of modern background snippets and you got a lot of them. We got gradients, we got grids and we got dots and whatnot. And I'll make sure to leave it in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add a couple of them. Let's start with a gradient. So I'm going to select this one right here. You can see we just copy the code it says that we copied it and paste it right into our project. You can see when I paste it in though, that gives me a little error. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna replace class with class name. And then once we do that, we could go back to our web app and you could see that it has updated and we could change the color of the gradient if we want to right here. So let's say we wanna do something lighter like a blue. We could change it in our code right here and you could see it's a little bit more blue right there live. And if you want to change it, if you don't want it to be white, if you want it to be something else, like let's say red, the top part, you could do that as well. And that's how you do that. I'm going to go back and leave it to white. So I think that looks pretty decent. So that's how you add a gradient. There's a bunch of other gradients if you want to add different locations, if you want to play around with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to add a grid. So let's try adding a grid in the background. I'm going to copy the code. Let's go back to our web app. We're going to go back to this section right here and then paste in our code for the grid. We are going to have an error again. So we're going to make sure we're going to place class with class name. And then once we did that, you can see the grid shows up. You can see we have an absolute instead of zero negative Z 10. It's very important that it's negative because we want it to go underneath all of our content. You can see we have a linear gradient to right and a linear gradient to bottom. So that's what's drawing the lines of the grids. If you want to change the color of that, you could do it there. You can also change the size of the grid. If you want it instead of a six, let's do an eight by eight. And you can see that the grid gets a little bit bigger and that's how you add a grid. So let's go back and let's add the dots. So we could go ahead, copy the code. Let's go back to our web application. I could go ahead and remove this and replace it with this right here. And then I'm going to replace class with class name. The code is very similar. The only thing that's changing is the radial gradient or if it's a linear gradient and then the style of what it looks like. You can see right here, the dots are a little bit smaller and closer together. If you want to increase the size between the dots, you could go ahead and do that by changing this, let's say 48 and 48. So now on our screen, the dots are not as close together. Now, if you want to increase the size of the dots, you could go right here and change this to let's say eight or something. Now the dots are bigger. So that's how you do that. You can play around with it, manipulate it. If we make this screen a little bit bigger, this is what it looks like. This doesn't look that nice. So if we go back to the original one, it's more subtle and then that looks good. And then that's how you add the dots. And that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. All the resources that I use will be in the description below. Go ahead and check out my other videos and thanks for watching.